Welcome to Sunday School. We are glad you are here. We can't be together at church. So we are glad you are joining us for Sunday School at home. So come on in. And find a comfortable seat. Hear the parable of the sower. Good morning. Welcome to ELPC Church School. Glad to have you here with us today. We are still the church family, even though we're not in our building yet. We're delighted that you can be here to share in our story time. The Lord be with you and also with you. First song we're going to sing today is called I Am Sent by God. And the words go like this. I am sent by God. I'm ready to serve to make the world a place of justice and shalom. Sing it with me. sing these words, we know that it's time to hear our story. So get yourselves comfortable. Our story today is the story of the sower. I wonder if this is a parable. It's gold. And parables are very precious like gold. This looks like a present. And parables are like presents. They've already been given to us. We can't take them or steal them. They are already ours. There's one more reason why this might be a parable. It has a lid on it. And sometimes parables seem to have lids on them. But when you open it up, there's something very precious inside. Let's take a peek and see what's inside. Wow, is this bright. I wonder what this could be. That is one bright orange. Once there was someone who said such amazing things and who did such amazing things that people began to follow him. And one day he told them a parable about the sower. A sower went out to sow her seed. And she scattered some seeds and they fell along the path. But The birds came along and ate up all the seeds. The 
Then some of the seeds fell on the rocks. She planted her seeds and they fell on the rocks. And the little seeds began to grow. But then they could not put their roots down very far in the rocks and they died. So the sower went on a little more. And this time, when the sower planted her seeds, they fell in places of thorns and vines. And the thorns came up and they choked the seeds so that they, they could not grow at all. And the seeds died. Now, other seeds that the sower planted fell on the good soil and on the good earth. And when these little seeds put down their roots, they grew and they grew and they grew. And at the harvest, they brought forth grain some 30 bushels, some 60 bushels, and some 100 bushels of grain. seeds felt that landed on the path. I wonder how the birds felt when they saw those seeds. I wonder how the seeds felt when they landed in the places of rocks and they couldn't put their roots down at all. I wonder how the thorns felt about the seeds. I wonder how the seeds felt about not being able to grow and being choked by the thorns. I wonder how the seeds felt when they got to the good soil where they could put their roots down and feel the sunshine and they could grow and grow and grow. I wonder how the soil felt in taking care of those seeds. And I wonder how so much grain could come from those tiny seeds. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the word of God. The story that we heard today is from the book of Matthew in the New Testament, chapter 13. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large, crowd, large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat in it, while all the people stood on the shore. Then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly, because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no roots. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. He who has ears, let him hear. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Now it's time to come before God with our prayers. Remember that God hears us when we speak out loud. He hears us when we sing our prayers or when we say our prayers silently in our hearts. God is always listening. I'm going to say a, some, a line and I want you to think of some things that you may either say out loud. I'm going to say like, thank you God for, and I want you to try to fill in some things that you're ready to thank God for today. You might think of your family or your pets. You might think of the beautiful outdoors if you've been out a lot in these, some, we've had a little bit of sun this week. We're gonna be thanking God. We're gonna be praising God. We're gonna also share with God some of the things that we're worried about, some of the things that might scare us a little bit. We're all still in our homes, and that can be a little, that's a little different experience. It can be a little scary, but we know that God is with us, that God is caring for us, and we pray for God's safety and blessings upon our whole church family. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Let's pray together. We thank you, God, for this beautiful day. We thank you for the glory of your creation. We thank you for the beautiful sunshine, for the birds that I can hear singing, for all of these gifts that you gave us in your good earth. We thank you, God, for And we praise you, God, for... We are grateful for our story today, the story of the sower, that it helps us to understand our lives and how you care for us. But sometimes, God, even then, we can be a little afraid. And so we ask God that you will help us with And sometimes there are people that we know and love that might be sick, need your care, need your presence and your healing. And so we ask God that you would be with our friends and our family and for all of your many gifts, God, and your grace and your presence, we give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And now, the light of Christ that was in one place can be in many places, all at the same time. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Amen. See you next week.